Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to make some sushi. Um, I've never really made sushi in my life before. You know, I've helped my mom. I've seen other people make sushi, but I've never actually made sushi myself. So, you know, I'm moving, moving away from home next month, so I want to learn things. Um, learn things to cook and I think sushi is one of those foods that I absolutely love to eat and I think it's relatively easy and highly customizable to my own liking so I think a great um, thing to learn how to cook is definitely sushi so that's what we're gonna do today again I've never made sushi before so this could turn out extremely bad but the good thing is that I'll be eating it so if anything happens it'll happen to me and not to you guys so Let's get started here. I got all the ingredients here. Um, I'm just following a recipe that I found online. I don't know if it's the best recipe, but it is a recipe since I don't know kind of what to do or how to go about it. So I'm going to follow this recipe and we'll see how it turns out. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the rice. Obviously, sushi has rice in it. This is the one that I uh, am going to be using. I don't know. It's the only kind of rice, Japanese rice that I have in the house. We're gonna go ahead and use it. Whether it's good or not, we'll see. Sushi, I'm gonna wrap it with seaweed. This is the seaweed brand that I found in my house. Everything that I have is what's in my house. I didn't go out and buy any of it. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. Whether it's good, I don't know. I'm gonna keep my sushi relatively simple in terms of the ingredients. I'm gonna have maybe three or four ingredients. So one of them is gonna be a carrot. I love carrots, so that definitely has to be in my sushi. Mini cucumbers, I mean, you could have bought the long cucumbers um, and used those, but I had these mini cucumbers sitting in the fridge, so why not just use mini cucumbers? I love cucumbers that have that little crunchiness to it, so that would go well in the sushi. And so the last thing that I'll include in my sushi is salmon. Um, this is probably not the right salmon, but again, it was in my freezer. Um, this is actually a smoked steelhead salmon. It's very, very thin slices, so it's probably not the regular kind that they use in sushi. It's smoked. I don't think sushi is smoked in this in this way, but who cares? I mean, if it tastes good, it tastes good, am I right? So we're gonna use those three ingredients. I was thinking of putting avocado because I absolutely love avocados. However, they're not ripe yet, and so they're just not, you can't eat them, unfortunately. So we're gonna go ahead and just use those three ingredients. Super simple, but I think they'll be all right at the end of the day. All right, so we just put the rice into the rice cooker. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and prepare and cut up some of the ingredients that we'll put into the sushi. But I don't really know how. Let's cut this in half again. Cut it again. I have no idea. I should have Googled this. Cucumbers. Cut the ends off. Cut this in half. Like that. Let's cut it again. So here, like this. And we cut them into slices.
Okay, now that we've cut up the ingredients, we're gonna make the sauce that I absolutely love and have to eat with sushi. It's called spicy mayo. Some people love it, some people don't love it. I love it. I don't eat really, I don't eat it with wasabi, so that's why I go for the spicy mayo. Big fat scoop. Then you just play with it. Pour a little. Okay, I'm starting to see it mix. More. This vinegar, we're gonna eyeball it. A little bit of sugar. Oh, whirl. So we fold it over, pull it in a bit, and we roll it, right? Like this. That probably does. Plus one. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so I'm finished making my sushi. Honestly, it wasn't the best, but we'll take what we can get. Let's give it a try. I haven't tried it yet. I know they're supposed to be cut up into small little pieces, but I messed up with the rice, so it's really hard to cut, so I'm just gonna eat it like this. I don't care. It's for me anyways, so it don't really matter. So let's go ahead and try it. Honestly, it's not that good, but it's a lot, it's really mushy because I think the rice is too mushy. I might have added too much water or rice vinegar, so it's like really mushy. And then the salmon also makes it really, really mushy as well. So overall, this is really mushy. Yeah, it's actually not good at all, but whatever. You don't have to eat it. I'm eating it. I'll finish it. It is what it is. I also got the wrong type of salmon. So this is smoked salmon, so you get that smoky flavor, which is kind of unusual to eat sushi with. But it's the only salmon that I had, and I didn't want to go out and buy salmon. So I used it, and now I know. Don't use it. So for next time, if I'm going to make this again, what I'd like to do or change is that I want to make sure that the rice is correct. Maybe add a little bit less water, and add a little bit less rice vinegar so it's not that mushy. Because it, it was so mushy that it was hard to put onto the seaweed and then cutting it was like near impossible. I had really bad knives, so cutting it with bad knives and then the fact that the rice was all mushy was almost impossible. So next time, really gotta watch the consistency of the rice and also to get the right salmon because I'm not really a huge fan of this smoked sandwich with seaweed. I know smoked salmon is good on like toast or something like that. That's what I like, but not in the seaweed with this rice and seaweed. So going forth, that's what I'll do. Monitor the rice, make sure that that is the absolute, you know, best thing. And then that should be good. Other than that, not too bad for a first time. So thanks for watching this video, guys. See you guys next time.